Hello, my name is Barry Johnson. I work for Intest Thermal Solutions. And I'm here today to talk to you about a Thermostream temperature forcing system. If you're not familiar with this kind of a system, over these next few minutes, you're going to learn how this system can help you in one of three areas. Whether you're a design engineer and you need to verify the performance of your product at a specific temperature or over a range of temperatures, whether you need to maintain a certain throughput in your manufacturing test, or whether you're in quality and failure analysis and you're troubleshooting a temperature-related problem, a thermostream can help you tremendously because of its broad temperature range, high accuracy, and rapid transition rates. The thermostream is capable of generating a high volume of clean, dry air that comes out of the nozzle. That air is precisely controlled anywhere from as low as negative 100 C all the way up to plus 300 C. As you can see, with the press of a button, it will change temperature from one to another really quickly. Right now we're at a cold temperature, negative 80 C. I press it to go hot. You see how quickly it transitions. And if I bring it cold again, it goes cold equally as quickly. Thermostreams were developed more than 30 years ago to test packaged semiconductor devices. Today, modern versions of the thermostream are used throughout the consumer, industrial, and mill aero world, where their broad temperature range and rapid transition rates make them ideal for testing PCBs, sub-assemblies, and other small modules. Hello, my name is Tom. Barry has asked me to show you the basics of operating a thermo stream. You are looking at the main operator screen now. This is the screen you will see when the thermo stream first turns on. Keep in mind, there are three ways you can operate the thermo stream. The first is basic mode. You can use the touch screens, hot, ambient, and cold buttons to run the system to temperatures. In cycle mode, you can use the touch screen to set up and automatically cycle through 21 unique temperatures. And finally, in remote mode, you can connect a computer to the thermo stream and use IEEE or RS-232 commands to operate the system with an infinite number of temperatures and cycles. I'm going to focus on the touch screen. I'll give you a quick tour and show you not only how easy it is to operate the system, but also how fast and accurate the temperature transitions are. We'll start at the top with the status bar. The status bar is broken down into a few different areas. Each area displays information about the status of the thermo stream. The most prominent area is the main temperature display. This displays the temperature to within a tenth of a degree. It can be configured to display either the temperature of the air at the nozzle or the temperature of the device under test, or DUT. Although DUT control is a bit more advanced, it is important to understand that the thermal stream is sophisticated enough to read and control the temperature of the DUT. It does not just control the air temperature and leave you guessing at the DUT temperature. The hot, ambient, and cold buttons can be used to send the thermal stream to temperature. By touching the run to set point, selecting the temperature, and then either pressing the head button on the nozzle or pressing the touch screen's head up down button, the head will lower and drive to the temperature you've selected. I'll use the head up down button to drive to temperature. You can probably hear the airflow from the nozzle and in the temperature display you can see we are ramping rapidly to the set point. The thermo stream is capable of up to 18 SCFM of airflow. It is accurate to plus or minus one degree and can hold that temperature for long periods. 
The system is capable at both fast transitions through multiple temperatures or long accurate dwell times at one temperature. You can see here the display is turned green and it's told us we are at temp. And here I'll change temperatures to give you a better idea of how fast the transitions are. As I press the cold button, the thermal stream immediately transitions to the minus 80 degrees set point. The temperature display indicates that the machine is cooling and within seconds we are already at negative temperatures. And we can return the system to an ambient temperature. And to shut off the airflow and stop controlling the temperature, we can simply click the head up down button again. Changing temperatures is very easy as well. All you have to do is press the change set point button, choose the set point you want to change, a dialog box will appear, enter the value that you want to enter, for example I'll put minus 55 and hit OK. And you can see over here we've changed the cold set point to minus 55. I'll finish my demonstration by taking you through a few of the other touch screens available. We already mentioned the cycle screen. This is where programs for automatic temperature cycling can be set up. The utilities and setup screens are where you can set all the test parameters, display options, and system parameters. The history screen provides real-time and historical temperature over time graphing information. The graph allows you to see the performance of your temperature test and if needed you can zoom in to see more detail on every temperature event. And if you want to save and store all of this information you can use the data log screen. Here you can create log files with all the information for each cycle or test you've performed. I hope I was able to show you how easy, fast and accurate the thermal stream is. I'll send you back to Barry now. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Tom. The thermostreams are designed and manufactured right here in our Mansfield, Massachusetts manufacturing facility. The thermostream is one of the only systems in the world that can achieve negative 100 C without the use of liquid nitrogen or other cryogenic liquids. And it's portable, allowing you to bring the temperature right to your test. We'd love to talk to you about your application and how a thermostream can help you achieve your goals. Thanks for watching.